All right, this is day one of me kiteboarding, and uh, man, it kicked my butt. I don't know how good the other videos that I made are gonna turn out, so I thought I would uh, make another one and um, tell you that, <laughs> you know, I ran uh, in the wintertime, first time ever, and was calling myself getting in shape. I don't know, I ran in the month of January, I ran over 100 miles, uh, 17 times or something like that. I don't know the exact numbers, but it'll be on my Strava. You can always find my Strava athlete, athletic link in the description below. Follow me on Strava, S-T-R-A-V-A. -A. It's the best uh, tracking data to keep up with your, your mileage and whether you're swimming, kiting, or biking, or cycling. It's just all around a really good thing to do. We got a huge community of real positive kite, uh, positive cyclists in Branson, Missouri. Uh, a shout out to Springfield Brewery Company. They uh, they have accumulated a large group of people. So if you're moving into the Springfield area and you want to associate with some real cyclists. Uh, join the club. I'll put a link in the description. Springfield Brewery Cycling Club. They have, a, they have a Facebook page and they're really good people. Neil, I think his name's Neil Car Carter. I may be jamming that up and saying it wrong, but uh, he's a real cool guy. I like him. There's so many, I don't know, I, I think it's like 1,500 people, maybe even more. But. Uh, if you moved into the area and you're looking for a, a cycle club, that is really a good one. You don't even have to drink beer. I don't drink beer. I'm a, I'm a recovering, recovering alcoholic and a drug addict, proudly to say. I haven't had uh, any dope, and I'm here in Jamaica. Everybody thinks, yeah, he goes to Jamaica because he can smoke those big doobies. No, I don't smoke. I don't smoke dope. I don't drink uh, even, you know, never. I was 28 when I when I stopped drinking. Now, that's a long story. One day I'm going to tell that story. But for right now, I'm going to tell you. I got to hold this for the wind ain't blowing. <laughs> okay. What I'm going to say is this: I went out for 18 minutes and a piece that equaled one hour, one mile, and 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 a little over a half, 1.6. And it kicked my butt. I mean, I, have, I was blowed up, you know, like out of breath, out of air. Start, my muscles were starting like to cramp. This is going to take some doing to get back in shape. I'm glad I'm here for three months. These people that come and try to kite in a, in a week, and out of a week you might have three days of really good weather. But it's, take, it's going to take me like it did last year. I'm going to look at my data from last year and see exactly how. Every day I kite, I get a little better, a little stronger. I run the beach all the way to the end. You see them trees way, I can't even see where I'm pointing, way out there. there I, it's 2.2 miles from that wall to the end down there. And uh, so in between kiting, I'm going to be running the beach uh, and getting acclimated to this weather, which is right up my alley. It's good and hot. I like it like that. All right. Y'all keep following my YouTube channel and like and subscribe, like and subscribe. Share this video. Share this video. I want to be a positive influence to people that are um, that's getting on up in age and think that life is over. It ain't over. It's just beginning. No matter what level you are, you can always do something your future self will be proud for. Like and share this video. Like and share this video. Share it with a friend. Leave a comment. I like to know who's following me. Thank y'all for following me and watching this video all the way to the end. You're a true friend. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. That's Natalie. Yeah, she be running. That's Brian. All right, I'm gone. Oh, let me do the slap. I got to get the timing right for my, this is my left hand. Yeah.